Okay, in this video I just want to talk about adding and subtracting complex numbers. And a complex number, remember, is basically a number of the form perhaps 2 plus 4i. So we tack on this i part, um, 5 minus 8i. Technically all numbers are complex numbers, but you know, we want to have this i tacked on there. Um, and the beginning part, we call this the real part. So the real part would be 2, and the real part would be 5. The imaginary part um, is the other part. OK, the negative 4i and the negative 8i. <clears throat> and we can graph these. Oftentimes, they'll graph complex numbers as almost x and y coordinates. So we'll call the x-coordinate the real axis, and the y-coordinate will be the imaginary. Well, 2 plus 4i, we can actually graph that by moving um, just two units. Just imagine basically plotting 2 comma 4. We'll move two units to the right, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units up. So that point 2 comma 4 represents 2 plus 4i. And likewise, we could go to 3, 4, 5, and then down to negative 8. Um, and that would be a point on the graph that would represent um, the imaginary number 5 minus 8i. And remember again, just imaginary numbers, the point um, an imaginary number, remember we say the square root of negative 1 um, equals i. Or equivalently, we say that i squared equals negative 1. And this now allows us to take square roots of negative numbers, for example. OK, so let's just do some arithmetic. Um, adding and subtracting complex numbers is pretty straightforward. You basically just do it um, almost like they're variables. So let's just do a couple here real quick. Um, so suppose it was 4 plus 8i plus 5 minus 7i. Well, basically, you can just get rid of the parentheses, 4 plus 8i plus 5 minus 7i. We add the real parts, 4 plus 5, that'll give us 9. And then positive 8i minus 7i would just be minus 1i. And we have now added those together. Suppose it was 3 minus 2i minus 6 plus 8i. Well, again, do the same thing. Just get rid of the parentheses on the first part. We'll have to distribute the negative on the second part, so we'll get minus 6i minus 8i. Well, excuse me, not minus 6i, just minus 6. Um, so we get 3 minus 6, which is negative 3. And then negative 2i minus 8i would be just negative 10i. OK? So maybe let's do uh, one or two more here. So suppose it was um, 4, let's see, 3 plus i. So actually, we'll throw a little multiplication in here as well. Plus 2 times the imaginary number 8 minus i. Well, again, in this case, you can just FOIL things out. So we'll get 12 plus 4i plus 16 minus 2i. And again, if we collect like terms, 12 and 16 is 28, um, and then positive 2i. OK, so I think adding and subtracting is pretty straightforward. In some other videos, I'll talk about um, multiplying and dividing.